So let's start. So today we're going to talk about, sir, is next generation power one. Welcome to the world of the next generation power one. What will be the agenda for this particular curriculum? We're going to start with the theory, introduction to the Cisco Firepower technologies. We're going to talk about the hardwares, deploying Cisco Firepower managed device, IPS policies, access control policies, intrusion policy, SI, which we call as security intelligence. We're going to talk about the NGIPS also, fire control and AMP. Then we're going to start with the practicals. Practicals for everything, whatever I mentioned over here. So connect with the lab environment, navigate to the manager's GUI, device management, Cisco Firepower Discovery, access control policy, whatever the, the things we have done and doing over here in the theory, the same thing we are going to do in the practicals. Security intelligence policy, fire control lab, implement uh, NGIPS and its rule and system administration over there. So after that, we're gonna talk about, so these all are the things that we're gonna talk, the theory as well as the practical. So I believe you know about me. So introduction to the next generation power wall. We're gonna start with the source power. Now what is next generation power wall? Let's understand that first, okay? Next generation power wall is basically nothing but it's a concept of ASA firewall along with IPS along with many more features. These are the three things which includes and make one device as a next generation firewall. Okay. Now how this terminology is got invented? Let's understand that. Before next generation firewall, there was a terminology that is known to be as called as UTM. UTM is a uh, open standard terminology given by IDC and later in the section next generation firewall was a terminology given by an analytical company called as Gartner. So Gartner is the name of the company analytical company who has given this nomenclature I'll say that which is called as a next generation firewall. So in the starting Cisco was never into the next generation firewall. The first next generation parallel, let's say first, but the one which got popular was your Sonic Wall, WatchGuard, down the line many other different different devices came into the picture and these all devices are known to be as what UTM. UTM is nothing but Unified Threat Management Devices which provides you your L3 to L7 capabilities. Plus, they are all these capabilities are there in one box. Plus, all these things can be managed from one management only, one GUI. This is the basic concept of your UTM. The same naming convention has been given and the nomenclature has been given as next generation firewall. And this has been given by the name called as a Gartner. And the companies or the vendor which comes under the next generation firewall are like Cisco now from the year 2013, Palo Alto, Checkpoint. These all are the devices which use a nomenclature called as next generation firewall to their devices. Now before, before Cisco entered into the year 2013 into the next generation firewall world, its biggest competitor become is nothing but your Palo Alto. Now what is Palo Alto? Palo Alto is a vendor, right? Which is giving a very good uh, competition in the year 2010, if I'll say that, to what? To the Cisco. Why people and the customers started moving towards the Palo Alto, there was a reason for that. They have one box, and that one box gives you one GUI only. Along with that, CLI configuration is also possible. Along with that, it gives what your layer 3 to layer 7 features, plus it gives you a URL filtering, plus 
it gives you application visibility control what do you mean by this we'll see in the future lectures plus many more concepts at that particular moment cisco has what asa firewall which does layer 3 to layer 4 inspection on the basis of source ip destination ip source port destination port and this is your what it builds the connection table so can i say that this is nothing but your stateful firewall but to do the things with respect to your uh, layer 7 we need to buy extra module which is nothing or device which is ips or maybe ids both this device does the inspection for layer 7 they check what ips is capable of uh, 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 do the analysis if i'll say that plus it generates the lock plus it detects the malwares plus it uh, blocks the malware also all these are nothing but given by a device called as an ips what is the ids does analysis only generate the logs plus detects it but it never blocks it that's why it is called as IDS intrusion detection system IPS is intrusion prevention system over there both of these devices works on the basis of their signatures signatures are there and both the these devices so you're basically a firewall inspects only the headers it never checks what it never checks the packet as a payload and your IPS IDS checks your payload also to achieve both these things, headers as well as payload protection, we have to buy two different boxes. One is ASA and one is another is IPS or IDS, whatever the device you require to over there. Along with that, ASA firewall gives you a GUI, which is called as ASDM, plus it gives us the CLI also. But to achieve these two things together, Cisco is doing what? Cisco is doing... Cisco is doing what? To achieve this, Cisco have two different products. One is the GUI coming from what? ASA firewall and another one with the help of the IPS. Now what Cisco has to do at that particular moment to compete with the Polo Alto? Let's see that. In the year 2013, Cisco has done acquisition. And that acqu acquisition, they have acquired a company called as Sourcefire. To give you a brief about the Sourcefire, Sourcefire is the number one company with respect to their IPS and IDS rules. Sourcefire is running basically with the engine which does the inspection. Engine name is Snot Engine. Name of the engine is Snot. Sourcefire was invented by a scientist called as Martin. And it does the inspection for your layer 7. So Cisco has acquired this company. And what they did after acquisition? After the acquisition, they tried to put these services on their devices. Now the question comes, what devices? The first device they did is 5500 series, ASA firewall. And the other device they started with ISA routers. Both these devices got failed by this, what do you call that? Cisco Source Fire. When they put these services on top of that, that was a failure. Cisco then introduces the first product with respect to the Source Fire that they have given a name called as ASA 5500 series, but in the last they have given X models. What is so specific about X? Whatever the ASA 5500 series with X models devices are there, these particular devices require SSD hard drive. And on top of this SSD hard drive, you want to install the source fire services.
The models are now 5506X, 5508X, 5512 is there. This model is there in your CCI lab. 5515X, this model is there in the Netmetric lab. Similarly, 5545X, 5585X, and so on and so forth. Depending on these are the two which is belongs to Soho small office home office. This is for your campus placement Right campus way and this is for the big data centers